bring you a message of friendly atheism. I came past here a few months ago and there were, there were some preachers here that told me that if I believe in evolution, that my life is meaningless. And I just am born and I live and I die and that's it. I didn't agree with that. I, I, didn't, I didn't think that was right because I'm an atheist and I don't think my life is meaningless. So that what can I do about this? I will come out and street preach like this. And you don't have to listen to me because if you don't listen to me, nothing bad is going to happen. There will be no consequences if you don't agree with me. It's fine. But, so why did he think that my life was meaningless as an atheist? Well, there are so many different ways of looking at the world and they can't all be right. You could probably say that most of the ways that we look at the world are probably wrong. We're all pretty much not quite right. So if we're going to get anywhere, what can we agree on? What we can agree on is what is real. And the way that we measure and describe what is real is science. Now science is a bit of a scary word sometimes, but science isn't always what you think it is. Forget the idea that science is opposed to religion. We all own science. Science belongs to all of us. It's the way that we all explore the universe. Using science and a, a bit of humility, we can, we can come together on what it is that we actually do agree on and go from there. But if we only use science to describe who we are, does that mean that we become meaningless, that we are just mere blobs of matter? Well, I'd say no. There's nothing near about being alive. If you look at the, the, the sky at night, you see the gigantic stars that are out there and all their blazing significance. They are not significant, it's living creatures that are the significant ones. All of the atoms and all of the stars would wish that they lived inside your head for one lifetime. It's, a, it's as if there's a, a cosmic lottery where every atom in the universe has entered into the lottery and very few of them will win the ultimate prize, which is one lifetime of consciousness. One lifetime in a brain like yours. Now, for me, only humans, surely, would win the greatest prize in the universe and then hope that there's something more, that that prize could go on forever. And surely only humans could find themselves inhabiting the most elegantly sophisticated object in the known universe, our brains, and then not feel special, and then have to make up stories to make us feel special. Well, yes I am an atheist, I do believe in evolution, life is short, but life is special, and you are all almost miraculously special. Thank you very much.